Hey guys, it's Jet here, um, and I don't know if you noticed, but I haven't really been uploading videos as often as I was like, as I would have liked to, but, um, the reason is because I was building this, this is my friend, the Fuse's plot, it's like some kind of ice cave thing, but I was building this, it is a theater, it's not completely done, like we can still add some things, like I need to put this tree line here, or whatever, but um, it's based off a theater in Lancaster, Pennsylvania called Sight and Sound Theater, and um, the only thing that's really one-to-one, -one, like from Sight and Sound, is the parking lot. Because when I started to build this, I couldn't really get the insides, so I just um, built it like how I wanted it. And like this area here, like the pathway here is kind of one to one, but yeah, here it is. Um, sorry, somebody blocked it off. We called it the Millennium Theater, just like it is um, IRL. Uh, well, the one in Lancaster, I don't know about the one in. Uh, Branson, but, um, my friend Tennis, uh, I don't know his full name, but it's like Tennis142JHM or something, did these amazing little, like, depth things, um, but the entire structure of the building and the parking lot, the, let me break down the doors, let me show you, uh, there were people coming in here we were trying to build, so, I built this entire, like, front area, the side area, that area, all by hand. Um, no world edit was used, because I was afraid of light glitches. Um, these are supposed to be people, like, these are the heads, but I don't know why. With the MC Magic Texture Pack, they look like that. I don't know why. But, um, I'm going to the restrooms. These are the exact same on the other side. Um, little toilets here. I was kind of constrained for space, so it's not the best restroom, but it's a restroom. And then the men's restroom. Uh, they have a lot of stalls, urinals over here. You can take a little dip in the urinal. Um, it's kind of weird. I don't, I don't. I've never done that. I don't know about you guys, but. Um, over here, there's some doors that actually lead to nowhere. Uh, some like little palm trees that are made out of fences, little garden areas to make it look like uh, more natural. A big eyeball. Well, like I wasn't making it to be an eyeball, but that's how it came out. And I thought, like, hmm, this goes along with um, sight and sound theater. We trapped somebody in a box yesterday. That's why this is here. Um, but yeah, so like sight and sound. You get an eyeball, um, so that's why the eyeball's there, so that it could be like a little thing. I don't know what you would call it, but here's some more depth stuff by Tennis, um, and these little trees I made here, and then this is going to be, it's not done yet, but it's going to be like a gift shop area, that yeah, it doesn't look that great right now, but it will. And then there's like the more depth stuff, a chandelier, a little garden areas, and then the restrooms that are the same on the other side. And now, there's actually, here let me show you this, there's this entrance to get into the theater. We have pressure plates that will change your game mode and stuff like that. Um, there's this entrance, and then this is my favorite entrance, you go through here. Um, there's going to be plants and stuff on either side in here, and then you go through there, so like, and then these doors, um, I'll show you this later, but they lead down to the backstage area, so like the animals and the shows can come up, like from underground and whatnot. Um, so, let's, let's go. I want to go through this entrance because... I think this one doesn't have, yeah, this one doesn't have game mode changing stuff yet. Now, this is a theater. It's huge. I don't know how many people it can sit, but it's a lot. 
and um, here's the control booth. There's a bunch of redstone stuff in there, and Aulus, and ASR, something or other. There's some numbers after his name. Um, they help me wire up all the redstone and stuff like that. And uh, a cast member called Mixmaster Jacob helped a lot with it. And basically, the only thing that I didn't build myself in here is the roof. Because I had people do that for me so that I could get started with um, the set. So right now we are up at the spotlight catwalk here. Um, flip the lever, spotlight goes on, you can move it around, whatever. Like, if somebody could come out with a mod that actually does spotlight stuff, I would download it because, or like a plugin or something, that'd be really cool. It'd be so useful. But um, actually, this this black wool that you see here is actually gravel. Um, we've retextured it. Actually, I'm not even using the right texture pack. I'm supposed to be using this one. Like, I just changed the uh, MC Magic one, so you see it's red wool now. Um, let's let everything reload. Okay, so um, I'm going to pause this. I'm going to get rid of all this gravel. Then I'll come back and I'll show you the sets that Apollo made. Okay, so <clears throat> I got rid of all the gravel, and now this is the sets. Like Apollo and Punk Rocker 34, and I built the sets. Um, oh, and Alice, he built that um, Cave of Wonders head there. But, um,. This is basically the streaks of, well, the show is going to be Aladdin, like they've started rehearsals. And basically what happened was, um, they came up to me and said, Jet, we love your theater. Let us do, um, uh, a show in it. I said, okay. And then, um, they said they're doing Aladdin. So I had Apollo come over and help me build the sets with Punk Rocker and Alice. And, um, yeah, so... Here's the like the streets of Agrabar or whatever I think it's called. Um, so there's basically like the barrels over there and like a little running place for one jump ahead of the lawmen. I think it's called or one jump ahead, something like that. And like there's like little ladders and stuff. And there's redstone. They actually can't see from the audience. It's surprising. Um, uh, there's a lot of, what did I do that? I didn't mean to do that. Um, there's a lot of, like, little detail stuff that's great. Um, here's the palace, the Sultan's Palace, that was built by Apollo. And Punk Rocker actually made his dressing room in here. And it's funny because there's a bunch of like redstone going through it to do the lights for the um uh, the castle. So it's, it's kind of like a very cluttered house. Oops. I don't know what went there. So I'm like kind of let him figure it out. Don't tell him. So back here it's like a little backstage area and then you run over to here and you're inside the Sultan's Palace. It's not completely lit yet. I'm gonna go get um, night vision. Just bear with me. Grab a infinite night vision thing from this command block. Boom! Infinite night vision. And um, yeah, let's continue. So over here is the um. Uh, palace like the inside so like here's the main big hall hall there's jasmine's room with the little balcony over the side in the garden area it's supposed to be a fountain here i think apollo forgot to do that and then here's jafar's little dungeon thing and that's going to be fixed up so that you can see it better from the audience and um this is my favorite part of the set because 
like there's a sand and then it's kind of like a transition over to the Cave of Wonders set. And um, so you go in through the mouth, there's a little doorway here. So you come out the back of the mouth and then you walk up here. <laughs> I didn't even notice this. I think Alice put that there. Um, but you walk through, these are like little gold nugget things and treasure room basically. And that's where like a poo messes it up. And then you come up here, grab the lamp, and then you're off and the cave starts caving in. And you go out here, and then you go out here. And that's basically all of the set stuff. Um, oh, and since there's also a backstage area, we'll go through this backstage entrance that you actually can't see from the audience. Because it's so like well blended together. That there's like a little, little backstage area. The offices for the technical director and everybody are in there. But we actually just started building them yesterday, so that there's really nothing there. So if you hang on me, is that beer? It looks like beer. Get some milk. Okay. You can see it's very like a dimly lit kind of thing that Alice made, and somebody else made. I can't remember. I think it might have been Harrowbrine Jr. And um, this is the horse stables where we keep the animals. So there's a horse and a... Um, I think that's the mule. Yeah, because that's the donkey. So this is a mule and a donkey and another white horse. And there used to be chickens and cows and pigs and sheep in here. But I think somebody killed them. So we're just going to leave that alone. Uh, this hallway is going to be where dressing rooms are going to go. Um, we only have a couple um, right here. It's Herobrine's dressing room. See, he and we're just letting them because there's so much space down here, and there's what's this door? And there's not that many people. Um, we're just letting them build their own dressing rooms, no matter what the size is. I don't know where this goes and what this is. Um. I didn't even know this was here. What is this? Oh, this is, um, the audition area. That's, wow, I didn't even know they built this. Like, I saw this Passover, but I didn't know what it was for. I didn't check it out. So, um, apply for a sponsor. In-game name a YouTube channel. I didn't even... What? Sponsor applications. I'm a worker. Nobody applied to be a sponsor. Well, I'm a free sponsor. Since it's my theater, I could just do whatever I want. I didn't even know this was here. That's funny. Um, there's probably more secrets back this way. Oh. No. Just a secret wall. So, wow. I need to ask them about this. I didn't even know it was here. Um, so there's, that's that side of the dressing room. And then this side, we have the green room, which actually has a secret passcode. And I'm going to show you guys what it is. And this should open. There we go. And, uh, the real green room. Here, let me get some of them. Glow stone, so you guys can see. Glow stone, yay! This is the real green room. Not the fake green room. Um, oh wait, I actually have to hit that button. Ah! Okay. Let's, let's see if I can do it. Alright, stop there. Hit the button. There we go. And then it closes, and then you just reset the password. Um, little oven, refrigerator, you know, this is where you come to eat when you're in the show or whatever, in between shows. And then here's Starman's dressing room. He's actually the director. Um, and he has a little bathroom. Toilet. Because everybody needs a toilet, right? Um, 
emergency portals, they don't do anything. Um, he has reflections of Pooh Buddy. Uh, that's kind of weird. Oh yeah, and his bathroom is called the special room. And here is Punk Rocker's dressing room. He plays Aladdin. Um, actually, yesterday a bomb, like a TNT cart or a piece of TNT went off and all these paintings came down. And he was pretty upset. And uh, so over here, I got the Tower of Pimps, Diddy World, uh, Drink Coke, you know, free advertising for Coke right there. Here's his actor hangout, bedroom, hey ladies, it's funny because there's only one bed. Um, Starman made what? Is there something down here? No. Starman didn't make anything! Liar. Anyway, so, they're like a little TV, whatnot. A little bar there, if we go down even further. We got really bored yesterday, so we made a spleef arena. It, we didn't repair it after we were done. There's a bunch of pedo bear heads and Mickey Mouse heads all over the walls, you know, because that's all how else on the hidden Mickey, because that's how all uh, spleef arenas are, right? Never actually played real spleef like on a actual server that like. One of those popular servers or whatever. Um, those are the those two dressing rooms, and I think we're done. Oh wait, no, we have a lift in the stage, um, which is down here. It's pretty awkward because you have to have two people to uh, do it. Um, just remember to uh, smile unless you're too far. So if you go down here. There's this lever that brings it down. See? And then you sit here and you face that way. And then it goes up. And you're on the stage. It didn't actually go up, I just flew up. Because I can't, because it requires two people. And I am forever alone. Um so we actually have a props and scenic department. I guess you could say. I wouldn't say a department, like a set building area, and a props area, that has nothing in it yet, but it is here. A little uh, concept art for Banby. I think that's the next show we're doing. Props and, this is actually supposed to be props and scenic, um, but I guess they changed it to costumes. Oh well, there's props. We don't have any props. Uh, prosthetic props. Aesthetics, wardrobe, props required, costume, size, character designs. This is actually really good. I didn't know that they. Ooh, dressing room. I didn't know that they had all this in here. Who built this? I don't even know. I just built the area, and this is supposed to be. This is a scenic, actually. This is a big scenic area. Um. So apparently, glowstone doesn't make it down far enough, so we had to put holes in the ceiling. So at night time, it gets really dark in there. And if this was like if monsters spawn if monsters were on, then um uh, you would basically get killed instantly. Just like you walk in and you're dead. So here's the cast member area. Most of the cast members have reserved seats. My favorite cast members get front rows caterade, Rob plays a game, and of the earth, the real ducky. Did this spell? I don't know. Uh, Grailmore, Alex, Disney Lover, Clark, and Kate is dirt. I don't know why all this glass is here, but uh, I don't think we need it. And then Skipper, Splash, Nux, everybody. Peanuts, Real Bud, everybody's here. Um, Virus Elite, a bit of mixed master, Batfish, and Pooh Buddy has his own seat right here. It's actually a pretty good view if this glass wasn't here. Um, you can see everything. If you had Optifine, you could even zoom in to see things. And, uh, I'm getting rid of this class. I don't like it. Yeah, good enough. Uh, this is Soul Series slash Bobby. I didn't put that there. I don't know who put that there. Um, but here there's a sign that said cast members only. And then down here, we have the donors and interns section. Um, uh, so Pokefan, Woody Black. Old Man Jenkins, Nate, all most of the 
people are here. Like, some people have reserved seats, but they don't have to sit there. Like, these seats aren't that great, because there's this wall in the way. And it's still kind of far. Like, if I was in the theater, I'd want to sit... Well, I'd want to have a moving chair, so that I could get closer to each side. But yeah, this is actually, this stage design is actually the same that they have in Sight and Sound Theater where it's just a big wraparound stage so that and we did this mainly because so that we wouldn't have to use world edit to change sets and stuff like that and so that we um uh, we wouldn't have to um change basically that's the only reason I don't know why I said there was a second reason um let me show you the booth here's the booth we have uh yeah, just break our, break my way in. Make it a little brighter in here. Uh, bright stage lights. That's this side. See how they turn off, and then the uh, cast doors. Those are the doors to the um, the hallways. I don't know what L lights is. Uh, house lights. Turns all the house lights off. It's a tiny bit laggy, but oh well. Deal with it. Stair lifts. Those are the stairs. I don't know if you can see them going up and down there. Uh, the left stage. Uh, those lights turn off. And again, those lights aren't done. And then the main stage. Lights, which basically shuts everything off and makes it set completely. Well, not completely dark. Because then we have to flip the backdrop, which is really laggy when you turn it off and on. Because it's basically daylight outside. And pistons... <coughs> are opening and closing it. And we also have curtains. I don't know if they were refilled yesterday. Um, let me go check. It looks really ugly from the outside, but like really, who's looking at the top? Wow, of course I hit right in a redstone path. Yeah, no, they weren't refilled. But these, oh, there's Disney Lover's head is watching us. Um, these pistons is basically gravel that goes up about this high. And, um, I'm surprised you can't see this from the parking lot. And, um, you basically have curtains. And then, like, when you pull the pistons, the gravel falls. Somebody actually messed up. Pushed this gravel forward. But, if you guys want to see anything else about this theater, um, say something in the comments, and I will try to show you or you could just come on yourself to c.mcmagic.us that's the creative server what is this? there's so many like random things on this plot <laughs> because there's so many people added to it I think this is fireworks I don't know, this better not cost any oh. that's a great way to end the video guys um, if you want to see more stuff like this um, just leave me a comment or like Subscribe, you know, to normal things. Um, and I'm going to show you everybody who is part of this. That is like whoever is added to. Oops. This plot here is the people that helped. So Apollo, Alice, Pickle Drew, Mix Master, Lego Builder, Punk Rocker, 360CL, ASR, Herobron Jr., Starman 187, Old Mike. And the J-Man. And there are also others on my other plot here. Like Augustus Water helped. Um, ISG Brady. All these people. And, um... So, that was my theater. I hope you all liked it. If you want to come on. There is a warp to it, but it has not been made public yet. Because, as a request to the cast member, Mix Master Jacob, who said it for us. Um... Oh, there's redstone right there. That's gross. Uh, fix it. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, I hope you liked the video. If you did, please leave a comment or a like, subscribe for more. Um, I will be doing a video of the actual Aladdin show that um, is happening. And so if you subscribe, you'll be able to see that. Or if you just look it up on YouTube. But I prefer if you subscribed. Um, I really enjoy making these videos. And I wish I had a bigger fan base. 
and if you guys could help me get that up, I'd be able to make better videos, stuff like that. Um, so yeah. Oh, and this is, by the way, why the other parts of my last potato, um, series hasn't come out yet, or like, the part three hasn't come out yet, because I was busy building this. Um, so that should be coming out soon, probably about the time when I upload this video, part three and maybe four should be out. So, um, thank you for watching, everybody. It's been Jet with Jet Games, or Jet88889 Games. And, um, thanks for watching. Bye.